Wee! Welcome, welcome to a nice, quiet, relaxing day uh, on the Isle of Wight, and we are braving the chairlift, aren't we? This is terrifying. You can't say anything, but what? Terrifying? It's not at the moment because I mean, yeah, I know. It's like a little branch down there, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it feels so unsecure. It's just Cody and I today. Yep. Isn't it? Yeah. I mean, we didn't really prepare well because we've got no zips. So I'm uh, just going to hold on for dear life, to be honest. <laughs> oh, there's a tree in my foot. Okay. But it's beautiful, beautiful, oh, yeah. beautiful view. So here is our view. This is the uh, retro chairlift. And it's the only way down at the moment as well. There's emergency go. repairs going on down on the stairs. So if you want to go down to the beautiful needles here in Allen Bay, um, this is where... Are we in Allen Bay? Maybe. Uh, ignore that. I don't know where we are. But if you want to go down to the Needles, which are over there, then this is the only way to get there. I think we're trimming these bushes as I we go. I think it's like they've came over here with a hacksaw in their hand. Yeah, fair play to them. Now, at the moment, it still doesn't look... I still wouldn't be too worried about falling out now. Um, maybe. Maybe a little what? bit worried. A little what? bit. And it says keep your feet on the oh. thing, but it's really difficult because it's really... Whoa, you got mm. But just look, absolute look. So, this is the edge of the Isle of Wight. Um, over in the background, right over the back, is Bournemouth, and you sort of come round towards uh, Southampton. But yeah, look at it, it is gorgeous here today. As we said, the steps are closed for emergency work. It does actually look like they're doing some work as well, in fairness. Yeah. Looks like they're going to reroute it. But if you want to come down here, this is the only way to come. Just, just looking down is This terrible. is the worst part, I would argue. I mean, at least on the other bit, you're going to hit a tree before you hit. Yeah, but I mean, they can keep it running where, like, towels can't. No. They can keep it running, no problem. I'm just going to lean forward a little bit. Oh, no. Ah, this is really relaxing. Oh, so nice. so you got boat tours as well. So this was a uh, £9 return for me, uh, £6 for him because he's only 15, so he does still class as a uh, child, which is quite nice. And you've got two boat tours as well. You can go for slow boat, uh, which again is the same price, I think. Nine and yeah, six. I think so. um, there's a weed killer coming up. Because it's going uh, <laughs> its own one. Fair play. And you can go on a jet boat tour as well. That's considerably more. That's £17.50 a person. So that's quite pricey in comparison. Yeah. I think there are a couple of these boats. Someone's failed at the top. Someone's not managed to get on, have <sighs> they? Oh, no, it's the lady getting off at the bottom. She did struggle to get on. And they advertise the boat trip. I mean, you'd be quite hard pushed to read that boat trip because I'm struggling now. It'd be even worse on the camera. But just look at the views, people. I know we're not a theme park. I get we're not a theme park. We're not going to like Black Gang China or anything today. Their, their main ride is closed. So we're going to go back later in the um, later in a year, possibly, to do that. But even the sea is so clear. Look, you can see in. I love the cliffs. I love the coloured sands. And yeah, we'll just show you around. But this is the highlight, the chairlift and the needles over the other side there. Right, we're going to have to disembark shortly. How are we feeling about this? I don't know. Just I'm remember right. to take your foot off the uh, foot thing. Yeah, that's also pretty terrifying, isn't it? Because... Uh, it looks like it's going to hit me in the back. In yeah. Oh, yeah. It's gorgeous though, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. There's people down here. How the hell did they get down here? Because we're first on. Yeah, how did they get down here? How did they get down here? They live over there and they With baby. Maybe they <laughs> climb down the rocks. It's quite enclosed here, to be fair. If you're not coming down here and you can't come down the stairs, there's no way. Right, we're disembarking. Here are the sands. This is what people come for, the clay sands of this. And it's like hard. And you can pick a little bit up, sort of mould it up. And then as it erodes back, brighter colours come through. You get different colours, so... Arguably, unless you're coming sort of on a weekly basis, you would never get the same, never get the same view. No. Never get the same view. I mean, we're red here, and then you go around the corner here, and straight away you're yellow in the hole, and then you come along and you go a little bit darker, you go sort of a nice gold, nice Hyperia colour, yeah. and then a bit brighter over there. It's quite fascinating, you can come close, no climbing, but you can come close and have a real sort of, this is much harder this one, and then you've got softer up there, and it's just like clay, 
really is fascinating. You can see how busy it gets down here as well. And the lifeguards out. And of course, the main event, the needles. So the needles are over there. So this is actually the closest point to mainland as well. You're about a mile away from mainland, which seems nothing at all. Uh, absolutely nothing, it's quite insane. And you're only 60 miles from Cherbourg in France, so you're only 60 miles from France, although I think at Dover you're only about 35, potentially. But what a glorious day to come down here. And when you come down to the sea, come down to the beach, look how clear it is. Here. Oh, what a beautiful beach. Whoa. Whoa, I do not want wet feet for the day though. But what a beautiful beach. We're going to take in a bit of the atmosphere and then head back up. Now, before we go, here's a piece that's quite clearly recently fallen. And you can see sort of the golden colour. You can see where it comes down, but this is, this is all sand. Of course, they sell the sand up the top. We'll have a look in the sand shop. And this is where it comes from. Golden sands. Wow, incredible. I'll tell you what, Cody, that was brilliant. Yeah, on, that, that was, was brilliant. Amazing. That was worth nine quid. Yeah. That was value for money. I'd probably throw more up for that, I reckon. Yeah. I mean, I was down on the speedboat, but actually, maybe the speedboat is 1750. Would have been an experience, maybe next time. It would have been an experience, but I like the fact that we can take some nice pictures. Yeah. I mean, the GoPro next time on the other would be pretty brilliant. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's it. Although we have just had McDonald's as well, so, you know, yeah. not sure uh, Not sure that's what we want to do. Are yeah. we ready to go um, back up, God? Yup. Pretty terrifying view, actually. It is a bit, isn't it? Still. There's no other way up. No. And we're off. Now, is this worse than coming down? You know what? I don't think it is. You know what? I don't know. I'd rather be going up than looking like I'm going to fall while moving downwards. Let's fall off I can't live if it falls, you're still dead, I reckon. Uh, right now, I reckon you're dead. Yeah. Chance. Or you'd have enough injuries to the point where you might as well be there. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just enjoy the ride, shall we? Yeah. And think that somebody the put those planks there. Like People have thrown there. litter from here, which is disgusting. But it's like something like a ground tour, doesn't it? You know, when they were going down the mountain. Yeah, <laughs> it's probably that kind of mountain they went down. But look at the views. Here's the final views from uh, down here at the Needles. You can see where it's looped as well, pretty in the archway. Yeah. What's your favourite part today? I think the boat ride. The boat ride has to be. Boat ride was great. If you want to see the boat ride, that'll be uh, a separate video. Um, but yeah, we went out. We've never been out. I've never been out before. I've been coming here since I was Cody's age. Never been out there before. So that was really, really fascinating. Really enjoyed that. It feels slower. It does. It feels slower. We are going to have a little look. We're obviously going to walk around now, um, up the top. I dread to think how busy it is up there. Because there's no stairs coming down now, you, you literally have to pay in order to come down here. And it limits a um, lot of people. So well. it is going to limit a few people. There's um, no disabled access. You can't bring your dog down here. Um, and it is a dog-friendly place, generally. Smile off the camera. I went for a proper cheesy one then. I mean, I'm not going to even look at it when we get the other end. But there's still quite a lot of people coming down here. Everyone's practically filled. Yeah. Yeah. Now you count for each one of those is eighteen pounds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's some money in this chairlift, I'll tell you. Um, what was it? Six pound parking all day, which isn't too bad. That's actually really good. Yeah. And that's between sort of um, open and close uh, periods in terms of seasonal. It's quite a seasonal park. This shuts in end of October, doesn't reopen till March. If you come down here on the other times, it's free parking. Um, the only problem is, where well, you can't access the stairs at the moment. You can't really, yeah. is there really no point? Where normally you can access the stairs and you can actually walk down there. There was a lot of the younger kids as well. Yeah, Probably get down to the beach. coming for the stuff up the top. Yeah, yeah, I'm expecting it to be really busy up here. I could be wrong, but I'm expecting it to be really busy up here. But you can see the golf, that's dog friendly as well, look. 
dogs playing golf, fair play. Little mini teacups. There's a little racing ride around there. Little carousel. Little carousel. There's the 4D cinema. And yeah, we'll show you down the street now and just see what's uh, what there is to offer. Show you the prices. And of course, going to the sand shop. Yep. If we uh, if we get off here. Right. So down this end we have the shop. It's a very generic shop, in fairness. And then over the back we have the Allen Bay Glassworks. Four D cinema, which is Jolly Roger. Always well, says new four D, but yeah, every time we've come, it's been the Jolly Roger. Ice creams. Okay. Ice creams. What's not to like about ice creams? And there's a, a restaurant. There's a little cafe. Yeah, there's absolutely loads going on here. So to show the prices. They do run on a token basis. Um, so you, you get the tokens from the what, ticket basis. So as we said, the chairlift was £9 return, £5 one way, but you can't really get one way at the moment unless you want to overpay. There is an unlimited wristband for £12 if you come for the day. That's actually not too bad. It's quite a nice relaxing, uh, relaxing journey. What does it count though? Does it count things like the golf and whatnot? That's just for chairlift. Oh, that's just for chairlift? Yeah, £12 for unlimited chairlift. Which, when you think about it, it was nine pound return. I mean, two trips is two trips is paid for itself. I mean, that's pretty good. So a pound, pound a tire, pound a ticket. Yeah, I mean, I don't really understand because you've got it's four pound or four pound on a super saver ticket. But I guess nine pound. Yeah, there we go. Nine pound for a book worth twelve pounds. So I assume that's nine pound for twelve. I wouldn't say it's that well. No, it's not well laid out. I'm guessing that that's 12 tokens for £9, which does make it a little bit cheaper, which makes um, the cinema closer to £3. Uh, Adventure Golf is £6, which isn't too bad. Kids Rides free, £4. Yeah, it's not too bad, to be honest with you. Um, you can get it as well if they do sweet manufacturing around the corners. You can see how sweets are made for £2. And of course, the Allen Bay over there, which is also £2 for the glass demonstration. So, yeah, it's not an expensive day out, I would argue. We say it about a lot of locations we visit. The top tip is what's time? 11? Half, half 11? 25 past 11. Uh, we got here at quarter to 10, but it gets busy here really quick. World famous coloured sands. I have a feeling when we last come, this wasn't open, was it? I don't think so. No, I think we come at end of season and this wasn't open, so Cody hasn't been in here. For those that have never seen it before, we've covered it in previous videos, you can buy like different styles different types glass plastic um you, you know if you want something a bit more islandy you would probably buy the island or the lighthouse and needles and things if not you can buy little bunnies little and things you can buy little pots and then you go basically down here and fill it with sand few little shops and arcades but the queue for the chairlift god again when we think on average with the children seven pound per person this place must be uh i'm sure the upkeep of it is actually quite a lot but god i still think it's good value actually i yeah. think it is good value really good value um down here yeah we a good time haven't we yeah very good. yeah it's a place i would highly recommend coming a hundred percent come down here and um experience it you've never been to the needles even the Isle of Wight, there's so much to do here. Spend a couple of days here, make the most of the ferry journeys because it's just beautiful, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Just beautiful. Right down here, this is where the golf is. Obviously, the carousel ride, another little dino jeep safari, and the teacups. If you were walking down, you would walk down to the right hand side there. Said, no, at the moment, not the moment, but yeah, needles. Have you been? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time.